Hi everyone, I'm Indy Rain and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is actually a continuation video from one that I did in 2017 when I went to see Harry on his very first tour in Manchester. And for those of you who don't know, Harry actually spoke to me on stage. So if you haven't seen that video, check the description below because I will put a link to the full video in there. And this video is actually a story time of what Harry said to me and my kind of reaction because I've been asked so many times since I uploaded that original video if I could go into detail of like what he said, what I said, how I reacted and people were asking me not only at the time but they've been asking me ever since and I'm finally, finally doing this video. So really quick little backstory as to what happened. I was on the barrier at the Manchester show and I was wearing Harry's old school uniform jumper that I had bought at a previous trip to Holmes Chapel and the uniform shop are really good actually in Holmes Chapel because they've saved all the old uniform that like the, that Harry wore when he went to school because they've changed the emblem since he was there so instead of throwing all the old uniform away they actually kept it knowing that Harry fans like to kind of purchase it to have a little piece of Harry. So I bought that and I wore it to his gig in Manchester and I never really expected anything to come from it. I thought it would just be kind of a thing where he'd kind of see it, point, laugh and that was it. And what I didn't expect was to have a two minute conversation with Harry Styles on stage in front of like two, three, four thousand people. And that was literally one of the most surreal moments of my entire life. Two minutes in normal time is quite, you know, like it's fast, it just goes really fast. Whereas two minutes speaking to someone that you have looked up to since you were 11 years old is, you know, it's long. It felt like so, so, so long that he was standing there talking to me. And I was literally the whole time just like amazed that it was me he was talking to, like my brain at first, when he first said the first words to me, my brain didn't actually process it was me he was talking to, probably after about 30, 45 seconds, I kind of realised, wait a minute, he's talking to me, and I literally I just lost it, I was standing there in front of him, trying not to cry, because I was like, this is my first ever interaction with Harry Styles. I do not want to cry in front of him. I am not going to let him see that I am sobbing here. So I just tried to keep my cool. And like, I had friends all over the venue. I had them up in the seats. I had them in the middle of the crowd, on the front row as well, because I'd met them while camping. And it was dead silent. Literally the whole venue was silent whilst I was talking to Harry Styles. And there's one point where he kind of says my name out loud into the mic. <laughs> and um, you can like hear my friend shriek, like literally, it's a dead silent venue. And then you just hear Harry say my name. And then my friend just shriek really loudly in the background. And I was like, oh my goodness. And so were they because they didn't realize it was me he was talking to until he said my name. So it was just, it was so crazy, honestly. It was so funny, like, the whole process of Harry, like, talking to me, because, like, at first, we, we were standing really far away and I was kind of shouting my responses to him. And luckily he couldn't really hear what I was saying because it was just all muffled and nothing I was saying was making any sense whatsoever. And then suddenly, like, I was shouting responses to him and then he just decided to be like, oh, what's your name? Pulled the mic off the mic stand and started walking my way. And I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So obviously everyone behind me was like screaming. And I was just standing there in utter shock because he was walking towards me. And then he like asked me again, he was like, what's your name? And I was just standing there like, I don't know, you decide, I don't know my name. And then luckily I remembered my name and told him my name. But <laughs> it was just like, why are you asking me that ridiculous question? My name is not the first thing that's gonna come to my head, Harry. You are standing right in front of me for the first time in my life. I don't know what my name is. Once me and Harry had kind of finished talking, or what I thought finished talking, he like turned round, went back to the mic stand and kind of started generally talking to the audience. 
and that's when I kind of let myself cry. I was like, right, okay, he's turned around, now he's talking to everyone else, not just me, I'm gonna cry now. So I just stood there sobbing, and then not only did he like, he like brought the conversation back, so what he was saying to the crowd, he brought the conversation back to me. So I was just standing there with tears streaming down my face, and he just like went, oh, bit of news for you, I went to that school, and I, when I tell you I rolled my eyes, I made eye contact with him direct and I just rolled my eyes. I rolled my eyes at Harry Styles. What I loved most about this interaction, and it's not only Harry that does this, it's the other three boys as well, is that when they're talking to fans, like if it's just one fan they're talking to, they will f put all of their kind of attention on that fan and like if there's people shouting in the background or other people trying to like get their attention like they will literally just focus on the one fan that they're talking to and that's what Harry did at that venue because obviously when he was stand like he was literally right there in front of me so when he was there there were like people around me trying to like shout things and you know brave enough to kind of shout to get his attention because it was a really quiet venue when he was talking and he just literally it was like he blanked them out because he was so focused on just talking to me and I've noticed that all of the boys do that and that's what I love so much about them is that they really like take the time to kind of listen to what you're saying and really put all the effort just to talk to you and then as when they move on to another fan then they put all their attention and everything into them and that's literally how I f that's like what happened with Harry so I was just kind of like, oh my god, literally he needs to stop like looking at me now because I need to cry, I really need to cry. I would have really liked to have shown you guys the jumper that I wore, but unfortunately I can't find it and it must be in storage. But as soon as I find it, because there is actually a, another gig that I went to where Harry noticed me, and I'd like to think it was because he remembered me because of the school jumper incident, so I will try and find it to show you guys for that video which will be coming in the future so keep your eye out for that one but um, not only do I have the high school but I also have this little nursery t-shirt that I put on a teddy bear that I've had since I was born and <laughs> you can't really I'm gonna try to show you it you can kind of see it it's literally so tiny they just like, they just gave me it at the uniform shop and were just like oh Harry wore this when he went to nursery slash primary so uh, obviously you're not going to fit into it, but you could probably put a teddy, put a teddy in it. So <laughs> I put my teddy in it that I've had since I was a baby. The moment we've all been waiting for, here is the video of Harry Styles talking to me. <laughs> You don't. No, no, it's you yours. I bought it because of you. You don't go to school. I was joking. She actually doesn't go to school. Crazy. India rain. India rain. India rain. Yeah. Come again. What? Come again. Come again. Come again. <laughs> you did! <laughs> if you want to jump in, you have to do the time, right? Me, for example, I have lots of the time. Does anyone else know Tracy's yesterday? Yeah. 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 I went to school! I went to college! It's a Wednesday. Yeah. I'm <laughs> 
It's so funny watching and listening to the video back because my like mouth was just saying words that my brain wasn't processing the words before I said them. So like I'm watching this back half cringing just thinking oh my god India just literally process your words before you say them because Harry was asking me so many questions and I was just giving random answers that didn't really make sense to the question he was asking because I, I don't know it was just the nerves thing I was so nervous and I don't even know why because I don't need to be nervous around Harry like he's just a normal person I don't know why I had to like be so like oh I'm just not, not saying words that made sense but we got through it in the end and I had a fat cry and it was just such it was so surreal all around like I'm so grateful that it happened and like I, I still can't believe it happened like it's been it's four years this year since it happened and it's still so crazy to me to think that like a video like this exists of me talking to one of the boys especially like Harry because I think on that tour I think I was one of the very first people he'd kind of spoken to in the crowd so it's such like it's such a special moment that we kind of shared so early on in his like solo career and I'm just really grateful that like it happened unfortunately that is the end of this video like I said earlier there was another time where Harry was on stage and he kind of saw me in the crowd and gave me some sort of acknowledgement so in the future I will do another video on that and I have also since then actually had the amazing opportunity to meet Harry in person properly rather than him being on stage but actually meet him meet him so if you want to keep an eye out for those videos please hit the subscribe button below and please leave a comment down below as well because I'd love to hear from you all and give this video a thumbs up too if you like content like this I just want to finish this video by saying oh, treat people with kindness follow your passion make it happen and I will see you all next week bye